आपके खातिर सीरीज में वुमेंस डे स्पेशल एपिसोड पे आप सबका स्वागत है जैसा कि आप जानते हैं एथ मार्च इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे सो वी टेक दिस प्रिवलेज ऑफ सेलिब्रेटिंग द वुमेनहुड इट इज सेड दैट हैंड दैट रॉक्स द क्रेडल रूल्स द वर्ल्ड तो आइए जानते हैं आज हमारे साथ जो कंसल्टेंट हैं डॉक्टर शिखा धवन शी इज अ कंसल्टेंट ऑफ ऑप्स्ट्रेटिक एंड गायनोकोलॉजी दैट वॉट आर द मेजर हेल्थ इशूज ऑफ वेमेन और हमारे साथ आज जो सेकेंड गेस्ट हैं डॉक्टर क्षितिज गुप्ता हु इज कंसल्टेंट इन प्लास्टिक एंड एस्थेटिक सर्जरी सो वी वॉन्ट टू नो दैट वॉट टिप्स दे हैव टू शेयर वॉर हेल्थ एंड वेल बींग एंड ओवरऑल मेंटल हेल्थ ऑफ वुमेन एंड लेट सेलिब्रेट द वुमेन हुड टूगेदर सो आई वेलकम डॉक्टर शिखा धवन फर्स्ट वेलकम टू आपकी खातर जे के थैंक यू सो मच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विशिंग एवरी वन अ वेरी हैप्पी इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे एंड आई डी आई रियली वॉन्ट टू थैंक मैम फॉर गिविंग अस दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू क्रिएट मोर अवेयरनेस फॉर एवरी वन एंड लेट्स गो हेड एंड टॉक अबाउट एंड हेर आई वॉन्ट शेयर दैट यू नो द गेस्ट टूडे हैपन टू बी हजबेंड एंड वाइफ अ वंडरफुल कपल सो वेलकम डॉक्टर क्षितिज टू आर शो हेलो मैम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर यू नो यू नो ज्वाइनिंग विद अस ऑन दिस स्पेशल डे एंड आई विश एवरी वन अ वेरी हैप्पी इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे एंड आई थिंक इट्स रियली अ प्रिवलेज टू बी ऑन यू नो ऑन अ लाइव सेशन विद यू टूडे I think it's our privilege that we have such uh, beautiful souls enthusiastic young surgeons who have been successfully uh, taking care of their patients and who have done wonders in their field so uh, first my first question goes to dr shikha dr shikha what are the major health issues that women today they are facing and that too because of stress uh ma'am firstly i would like to uh, address the major concern which you will see with all kind of women be it adolescent age group the reproductive age group or even the patients somewhere who are going towards menopause that is the polycystic ovarian disease uh ma'am you must have heard about everyone yes, yes. every now and then there is some or the other person and the incidence has increased so much yes, compared to what we had seen the incidence almost like 15 years back presently you will see every uh, uh, one in 10 uh, adolescent girls who will be having a diagnosis of PCOS so what exactly is a PCOS or the polycystic ovarian disease this is a multi uh, metabolic and an endocrine disorder अगर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक इट डाउन सिंपली फॉर यू सो मैं डॉक्टर uh, शिखा यहाँ पे आपको थोड़ा सा इंटरप्ट करूंगी जैसे मैंने देखा है यंग गर्ल्स बहुत ज्यादा एंगजाइटी में डिप्रेशन में दे अंडर सो मच ऑफ स्ट्रेस तो ये सारा क्या रोल प्ले करता है एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली जो पी सी ओ डी है लाइक यू नो इन सिंपल टर्म्स लेट्स एक्सप्लेन इट टू आर यंग स्टूडेंट की है क्या सिंपल uh, लैंग्वेज में बताएं तो इट इज बेसिकली जब आपके हॉर्मोन लेवल्स द फीमेल हॉर्मोन लेवल्स आर गोइंग अंडर अ हे वायर नाउ दिस कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ द इमोशनल स्ट्रेस और एग्जाम स्ट्रेस अगर हम बोलें तो वन ऑफ द रीजन कैन बी दैट अनदर इज द डाइट्री स्ट्रेस दैट वी हैव आजकल मैम आपने देखा होगा द जंक फूड इज जस्ट एट द यू नो at the finger tip of yeah it's easily available, available compared to what we had earlier yes. the children have got prone to more addictive towards pastries bakeries you know high sugar content be it cold drinks be it cold coffees i am not going to just name one i am just talking about the overall uh, food if i have to talk about the completely carbohydrate content of all the patients have drastically increased now this is basically increasing the internal sugars तो इंटरनल शुगर्स जैसे अगर इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ देर इज ऑलमोस्ट टेन ग्राम्स ऑफ शुगर गेटिंग न्यूट्रलाइज बाय टेन ग्राम्स ऑफ इंसुलिन दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जांपल सो इफ दैट इज हैपनिंग इन दीज पीसीओएस पेशेंट्स दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग सो बेसिकली दैट ग्लूकोज इज नॉट गेटिंग न्यूट्रलाइज हमारे जो इंसुलिन लेवल है दैट इज इंक्रीजिंग हायर एंड दिस हाइपर इंसुलिन एमिया इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग द मेल हॉर्मोन्स दैट इज द एंड्रोजन सो दिस ऑल हे वायर थिंग दैट ऑल द मेटाबॉलिज्म यू नो दिस कैन बी ऑल्सो सीन इन ओबीज पेशेंट्स मेजरली बट यू विल बी वेरी सरप्राइज नो दिस इज ऑल्सो सीन इन पेशेंट्स हुर नॉट ओबीज दिर इज पीसीओएस वेरियंट दैट इज सीन इन द थिन एंड लीन पेशेंट्स so basically it's the internal environment that is going haywire leading to all these problems with the patient and they 
they present to us with abnormal bleeding they will have delayed cycles they will have acne seborrheic dermatitis hair fall and most important what nowadays girls are as you can see our generation is you know progressing so fast so they want something you know they were very concerned about their co cosmetic looks so this acne and hirsutism that is the male kind of uh, hair growth that you can see on the patient's face that is increasing and the patient are visiting us with majorly those complaints so here comes the role of Dr. Shetit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, since the incidence of PCOD patients have increased, so मुझे आप ये चीज बताइए जैसे इसमें होता है acne बहुत ज़्यादा होती है जिनको हम pimple simple language में कहते हैं hair sutism होती है जो कि unwanted hair on unwanted uh, parts of the body होता है. So Dr. Shetit, how do you manage this? Like, like as a plastic and an aesthetic surgeon, तो uh, first of all पहले मुझे ये बताइए कि counselling का कितना role रहता है? रहता है और कितना आप नॉन सर्जिकल और सर्जिकल मेथड्स कब कब अडॉप्ट करते हैं सी हमारे पास एक सबसे बड़ा प्रिवलेज ये है कि वी हैव एन इन हाउस गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट सो सो दैट्स द प्रिवलेज फर्स्ट बिकॉज टू बी वेरी फ्रैंक हमारे पास जब भी कभी यू नो जैसे एक्नी के पेशेंट्स आते हैं या फेशियल हेयर के पेशेंट्स आते हैं तो हम क्या करते हैं लाइक वी ऑलवेज लाइक आई ऑलवेज ट्राई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू काउंसिल द पेशेंट टेल दम इन वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज यू नो कॉज and everything and सबसे main चीज होती है कि what our way of working is like we try to first of all diagnose the thing and then we can treat it see facial hair can be treated with various you know treatment modalities including laser hair removal and all but uh, first of all we try to diagnose it so that uh, so, you know once the cause and the main you know the stimulus goes away so it, they can be treated in a much better way and दूसरी चीज आ जाती है कि इसके साथ एक और चीज हमने देखी है जैसे PCOS का एक सबसे वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमनेस्ट कॉज इज जंक फूड तो जंक फूड की वजह से काफी ज्यादा यू नो दीज डेज यू नो पीपल आर कमिंग अप विद यू नो ओबीज पेशेंट्स आर कमिंग अप एंड देन दे हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ यू नो एरियाज ऑफ द बॉडी विच हैव यू नो स्टबन फैट सो फॉर दैट यू नो लॉर्ड ऑफ यू नो केसेज आर कमिंग अप फॉर लाइपोसक्शन एंड ऑल बट फॉर देम यू नो वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी ट्राई टू काउंसिल देम ट्राई टू पुट देम ऑन अ वेरी गुड डाइट रजीम motivate them to do regular exercises then only we get ready and then we then only we are ready to operate them otherwise we don't operate them directly that's our protocol to so, uh, main aap se yahan pe puchna chahungi because you know at times kai bar hota hai jo stubborn fat hoti you know mm. matter how hard they hit the gym and yeah. uh, what uh, fitness regime they follow kai bar uh, due to failure of the regime also you know people land up in depression yeah. so uh, briefly if you can just explain to our audience in simple terms that what are the surgical modalities that are available for uh, right. such cases see for them the only modality is to go for like first have a nice diet regime do exercise regularly and then you know you have to finally jump on to the surgical management that is liposuction for that we have an excellent tool by the name microair so we use microair for doing liposuction so so that's the best tool over here for that and that's an ideal way to go proceed in case of you know stubborn fat and if you're talking about facial hair obviously we recommend patients to go for laser hair removal and uh, and what to talk of acne for acne they have to follow a very good uh, facial regime we uh, give them a nice face wash they have to you know actually use it nicely and then you know a night cream and then some day creams as well but then you know it varies from patient to patient whom to give on whom not to give because uh, one of the other patient they have some other underlying cause for acne as well so we need to first of all find out the cause and treat them accordingly so here i think one beautiful point can be highlighted i've i've been counseling patients with depression so what they can do is they can indulge themselves especially girls you can indulge yourself into a beauty care regime and keep yourself engaged also and then you can contact dr shitesh exactly. also for that <laughs> so what has been the success rate so far in such modalities uh, um, almost like it's quite good because you know once you counsel the patient they might you know uh, might stumble on for a month but then you know once you are very uh, you know uh, dedicatedly working for them so th i have seen like a quite a good uh, success rate in in terms of my patients at least because we have a gynecologist with yes. us so we actually treat out the cause and then you know uh, patients are getting very good results yes that's wonderful so here dr shikha i know another thing jo main aapse puchna chahungi ki jaise aajkal hum indoors rehte hain chahe winters ho ya summers ho summers mein because of the air condition and other factors or ab to spring or autumn ka koi concept nahi raha so during this time you know um, the youngsters especially adolescents inko depression bahut hota hai vitamin d deficiency hoti hai 
तो इसका क्या रोल रहता है पीसीओडी में मैम सी इमोशन इमोशनल स्ट्रेस जैसे मैंने आपको बोला इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ ट्रामा दैट वी आर गिविंग आर सेल्स तो वेन एवर इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज वाई से कि अगर आप अपने ब्रेन के स्ट्रेस लेवल्स को इंक्रीज रखेंगे तो ऑब्वियसली एवरीथिंग इन आर बॉडी इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय आर ब्रेन इट हैज दी हाइपोथैलमस दैट इज सिक्रीटिंग ऑल दीज फीमेल हॉर्मोन्स और द स्टिमुलस फॉर दी फर्दर द लूप दैट इज देर नॉट सो मच टू डिटेल सो दैट एवरीबडी कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो द मोर एंगजाइटी द मोर स्ट्रेस द मोर इमोशनल फैक्टर्स आर गोइंग टू बी देर ऑब्वियसली देर be a difference and there will be a markedly increase in the hormonal levels now these stress can be emotional it's a vicious cycle ma'am there is emotional stress some people tend to binge eat yes. when you binge eat you un- you go under a lot of body changes you aapka adipose tissue content bad jata hai you later turn out to have adipose tissue into dr so, shikha thoda sa hamare audience ko na can you just throw a light on binge eating and anorexia nervosa i know these are medical terms but for right. for, for the layman <laughs> uh, binge eating se matlab hai ki uh, jaise exam mein simple kabhi bhi kisi ke exams hote hain hamara ek reflex hota hai ki baithe baithe bas khate jao you know so uh, again, maggi ne bahut <laughs> maggi and uh, chips ne <laughs> ये सब चीजें बहुत करी है तो एग्जाम टाइम पे जनरली मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल यू से कीप ऑन मंचिंग एंड समटाइम्स यू नो पीपल हैव फूड एज देयर इमोशनल फैक्टर रिलीविंग फैक्टर आई वुड रादर से लाइक अगर कोई पूछेगा व्हाट इज योर गुड मूड मील सो एवरीवन हैज अ डिफरेंट गुड मूड मील सो वट हैपन्स इज देन एग्जाम में अपने आपको स्ट्रेस रिलीव करने के लिए पीपल कीप ऑन मंचिंग इट्स लाइक अ स्ट्रेस ईटिंग like it's a stress buster eating i would rather say so this has led to a lot of uh, fat accumulation in the patients and especially in pcos patient you will have an androgenic fat distribution there will be a centripetal uh, uh, fat accumulation obesity may hip uh, hip to waist ratio will be more than 0.8 so this is all again leading to increased levels of insulin and sugar in the body again leading to pcos now the another thing that we have seen uh, there is a documented uh, reports regarding the deficiency of vitamin d so deficiency of vitamin d is also causing hyperinsulinemia leading to more androgens and leading to more uh, uh, hormonal variations and causing more uh, polycystic ovarian disease disease which can be either atypical or typical not everyone is going to have the same kind of uh, the presentation but whenever you have anything abnormal i think the best thing to relieve your stress is visit your doctor speak with them abhi jaise mam aapne pucha counseling ka kya yes, role hai counseling ka bahut important ma'am that is the first thing that we do to our patients we try to explain them ki unke sath aisa kyun ho raha hai because i know google is very informative but kya hota hai ki when you listening from the mouth of an expert it definitely has an impact so with our counseling Like, we need to limit ourselves. Exactly, exactly, right, right, exactly, ma'am. So uh, the best part about our uh, 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 this uh, facility is that we have a multi-doctor facility here. So whenever there is anything abnormal, so we have a, we also apply the multidisciplinary approach. There will be a plastic surgeon treating you, a gynecologist hmm. treating you, and also we have Sir with us who is also uh, the um, he has more than <laughs> experience. Needless, than, to, say. needless <laughs> to say about him. So he. is taking so we have this multi uh, disorder approach yeah approach, approach. Yeah. and then we target those things and we try to counsel them that this is the way you have to go about your life i especially give them dietary counseling as well because they have to understand what is to be eaten what is not to be eaten how much calories required what all lifestyle modifications are to be done because the mainstay of treatment for my pcos patient is lifestyle nice. modification because it's a lifestyle right, disorder right. so ladies when your hormone go crazy you just take a pause go out get some sunshine and that will help you in elevating all these uh, mood disorders uh, so dr shitad you know just an off beat question i want to ask you as as a male doctor yeah what role males have to play in in a female's health um <laughs> <laughs> uh, like see the thing is like you know um are you asking like see the two aspects to be very frank uh, mm-hmm. it is something one as a doctor as a male doctor and secondly as a male partner or hum janna chahenge bahut zyada stress hota hai bahut sare cases aise hote hain that you know women are not able to meet both the ends That's we right. have working women also and they are working at home also they are taking care of the kids also so you know what role first my first question is ki kya role rehta hai as, as a male see mujhe lagta hai ki see male partner ka ya male member ka ek important role to obviously hai hi hai uh, agar female ko kisi bhi tarike ka stress hai ya koi bhi problem ho rahi hai so male partner is should be there to you know 
support her, help her out, you know, get the issues resolved, so that at least she can be, you know, get relief from the uh, from the stress. And then, you know, baki uh, cheez as a male doctor sitting over here, so hamare pas uh, like. All, like see as plastic surgeon we treat everything from head to toe so uske liye, like whatever you know uh, issues patients have they can just come down to us and then we'll treat them accordingly and as you were talking about you know the role of stress i was just you know thinking in my mind a lot of patients are coming up to me you know uh, like they have a lot of stress because as a result of stress they are having three very common issues one is hair fall second is early graying of hair and third is early aging like they have wrinkles developing at an early age along with you know which is coupled with pigmentation and you know uh, these things we treat accordingly but then before treating them uh, with any modality whether it is a medical management a surgical management or a non surgical management uh, we treat them in the form of you know a good counseling which is very important which actually plays an important role you know sometimes you know people they don't need much of a treatment counseling yeah. really plays a very important role once you counsel them thoroughly about their you know complaints you try and you know sit down and you know try to listen them we really give you know many of the times we have you know we uh, give almost like 30 minutes to almost one hour to one patient as well because you know once you hear them out patient gets really get relieved of the stress and then we just try to you know with our own ways of you know managing them we just tell them how they should you know think positively think positive uh, in life and you know once you are on the right track all all the things come in place accordingly you know whether it is medically or anything else they really see all the results and i do have like few of my patients in the last couple of months who actually came to us with so many complaints and the main root cause which i came out to you know concluded that they all those complaints were coming because of emotional stress you know few of the females you know army personal wives army personnel are right on the border and their wives are sitting in the cities and you know you know and then so many other cases also but then once you listen to them you counsel them give them right appropriate medications they really get relieved of the stress and you know the complaints also go away and your medical management also comes in place otherwise you keep on giving them medicines they won't get relieved of anything else yeah थोड़ा सा इस प्रोग्राम का फायदा उठाते हुए थोड़ी सिंपल रिजीम हमारी लेडीज को बता दो सो दैट दे फील कंफर्टेबल इन देयर स्किन बिकॉज आई फील दैट यू नो लेडीज देम सेल्स आर कॉन्शियस दैट दे आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल इन देयर स्किन बिकॉज वी वी स्टार्ट जजिंग देम देयर इज लॉट ऑफ यू नो बॉडी शेमिंग इन अदर एस्पेक्ट्स दीस डेज तो थोड़ा सा आप सिंपल रिजीम बता दो ताकि लेडीज आउट देयर कैन टेक बेनिफिट ऑन दिस स्पेशल डे इन अ कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मैनर सी द थिंग इज लाइक all females or males you know now males are also very conscious about it ek acha sunscreen se pehle sabse pehle i would rather say ki ek acha face wash followed by a nice sunscreen to protect your skin and a night cream are the primary three things which everyone should follow in addition to that if you have any issue skin related issue obviously you should visit your nearest uh, doctor so that they can just diagnose it and treat you accordingly but these three things are the primary things which everyone should follow on daily basis and how about sleep and other uh, yes, things yes uh, sorry i forgot <laughs> to say two more important things in fact three more important things one should you know sleep for at least 7 to 8 hours which i know it's like quite a bit difficult job nowadays because uh, you know more of the time is being you know spent on phones and everything even when the light is off you're just being uh, you don't try to sleep instead you are busy on busy on phone uh, one should uh, have a good sleep for at least 7 to 8 hours reduced screen time like i mean to say less time on phones and laptops third plenty of water in the form of anything water liquid juices and everything and fourth uh, you know barring alcohol <laughs> <laughs> yes yes obviously obviously <laughs> not that kind of fluid <laughs> exactly even that is one cause of aging yeah. yes so that's uh, and smoking that. obviously uh, they're not <laughs> good things which i Thing. Yes, no, yes, exactly. Like yeah, exactly. So these are the things which everyone should follow, and then you know uh, a good diet which includes uh, you know a bowl of uh, fruits every day and a bowl of vegetables every day that really helps. And you know high protein diet is obviously a key, and less of carbs is like the primary thing which one should follow on daily basis. So, uh, Doctor Shikha, I want to wrap up the show with yeah. you. Like a uh, few things coming in my mind. Just say, अब हमने PCOD की बात की, and we're talking about the role of males in that. कई बार ऐसा नोशन होता है जस्ट नोशन दैट पीसीओडी पेशेंट्स फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू कंसीव सो यू नो व्हाट रोल मेल काउंसलिंग हैज इन दैट एंड अदरवाइज जब अगर हम डिलीवरी की भी बात करें 
so as you know what has been your experience when the husbands are allowed to enter the labor room so how it elevates the anxiety uh so ma'am uh, as a like already dr shita has explained the male partner has maximum role to play with the female partner why i would say because if somebody is in stress and you have your partner with you i think he's the best person who, with whom you can share yeah. your anxiety with whom you can share your stress and you are there for each other so the more you are involved in both the problems today if the female has pcos tomorrow if by chance the boy uh, the male partner has some uh, disease obviously only you two can you know elevate your anxiety talk about it see talking about some issues is more important in a relationship and more sturdy your relationship is going to be there the more uh, the more emotional stability it's going to be there the so the patient will have a good feel about it i a think one one thing we it. we need to break the myth here that pcod yes. patients cannot conceive so as a gynecologist please break this myth today and give a happy news to all females out there that pcod patients can very well and easily conceive they can very well and easily conceive see uh, almost i would say that all patients will have to undergo a proper diet regime a proper exercise uh, regime and the advice as given by a doctor uh then uh, for infertility uh, the problem where you are not able to conceive there are 5 to 10 persons who have difficulty in breathing uh in uh, having uh, the conception but it's not like that because you cannot conceive and with newer modalities of the treatment now these things have become very easily possible for all couples so please break break this myth there is nothing wrong you can conceive very well you can have a normal delivery if you are following everything as advised by your doctor so thank you dr shikha thank you dr shetar it was wonderful having you here so stay tuned to aapki khatir jk news today for our other series in the month of march and wishing all the women out there a very happy women's day any special i i want to you know hear this message from from a man that any special message you want to give to women out there uh it's time to pamper yourself so you know uh, just go out Uh, have a lovely lifestyle and pamper yourself that's the key for a healthy life thank you thank you so much so let's celebrate the womanhood